the squad. AOC, Rashida Tlaib, Corey Bush, Ilhan Omar, Pramila Jayapal, Raul Grahava. Neither of them forced the vote on the minimum wage last week. You know, when the stimulus passed. Um, you know, the Democrats, you know, they not only are helping seven... Let, let me just... I, I'm going to do this way. I, I, I'm going to tell you what they're doing. So, you know, a lot of you should be getting your stimulus check. Um, <laughs> most of you, some of you, okay? Notice how I didn't say all of you should be receiving a stimulus check. Every single American in this country should be receiving a stimulus check. In theory, that's how it should work. But notice how I didn't say that. <laughs> in th- you know, right? Uh, I'm not saying that because not all of you will get a stimulus check, apparently. Because, you know, the Democrats decided, uh, let's means test this bill. And let's help 17 million less people uh, than, tr- than Trump did. Trump helped 17 million more people than Joe Biden is helping. They not uh, so so anyway. Uh, I, I'm gonna do a video on that. But so, not only did they, they did they capsize it, not only did they uh, means test it and put a cap on it, but they also the squad didn't force the vote on the minimum wage. They never forced a vote on the minimum wage. What happened was the House passed it with the minimum wage. And then Joe Biden said, Joe Biden said, no, we're not going to pass it with the minimum wage. We're going to get rid of the minimum wage on this bill because we want to pass it in the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act. That That is the bill where they send money to Boeing and Raytheon and Halliburton and, 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 and um, Lockheed Martin and all these, all these guys, all these places that make the weapons uh, uh, to go bomb Yemen and other countries for Saudi Arabia. And, uh, you know, um, all that money goes to supporting, uh, uh, the Pentagon and the defense contractors and the arms contractors, the military industrial complex. That's what that money goes to. And so, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's incredible how, so he pushed it off and then he said, we're going to pass it. We're going to take the minimum wage out. All because a parlor parliamentarian couldn't... Be, they couldn't overrule a parliamentarian. An unelected advisor. Unelected, appointed, high-ranking advisor that they can just fire. Get rid of. Or Kamala Harris could have come in and voted and said, No, we're going to do it because the people need a minimum wage. They need a minimum wage increase. That's what the people need. And so, um, so, and and by the way, the Republicans did that when they did the Bush tax cuts in in two thousand one, two thousand two. The, the parliamentary said, "No, you can't do that." Parliament, the, the freaking Republicans said they went to the majority leader and said, "You're going to get rid of the parliamentarian." They did. He did. And then guess what? They had the Bush tax cuts. How simple is it to use power? But you can only use power if you have the courage to do so. If you want to do it. If you have the urge to do it. Because see, here's the thing. The squad is all about the minimum wage. They tweet about it every single week. Every week. Every week, and by the way, I said this week, it was last week that they passed that bill, uh, the, the stimulus bill without the minimum wage, and they, they're always on Twitter saying, oh, uh, it's unacceptable that we're doing this without the minimum wage. No, it's acceptable because you're accepting it because see, all it takes is about four to six, four to six progressives in Congress of the squad. Take the original squad and add, I don't know, Jamal Bowman and Corey Bush, if you want. Add Jamie Raskin, if you want. Add, uh, let's see, uh, Marie Newman, who knocked off Dan Lipinski. Add all of them, and they could force the vote. I'm not going to vote for this bill until you put the minimum wage. I'll vote for it 
if you put a $15 minimum wage. And by the way, they want to increase it to twenty uh, to $15 by 2025. No, by that time, it should be $20 an hour. 15 bucks an hour was the fight eight years ago. Eight years ago. So... They want to give us a wage that's overdue, and then they 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 want to say, "Oh, it's unacceptable." No, you go to uh, the the Speaker Pelosi and say, "We're not going to vote for this bill until you put fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage in the bill," and then they make the they they AOC told Justin Jackson on Twitter, like I said. Oh, we're not going to force the vote on Medicare for all. I wanted the the vote on Medicare for all. And those of you who've been watching this channel, you know I've been wanting the, the, uh, the progressives to force a vote on Medicare for all. Jimmy Dore has wanted it. Breonna Joy Gray, Justin Jackson. People like Sam Sater didn't. They kept making it about Jimmy Dore instead of making it about an issue. They kept blaming people like me and Jimmy Dore who screamed into a camera because we're tired of people going bankrupt over healthcare. But anyway, we were saying force the vote a long time ago. And AOC told Justin Justin Jackson, well, we don't want to do it right now. We can't because we want to make sure we can do force the vote to for something that can pass like the minimum wage later. And guess what? We're here now and they're not passing the minimum wage. They're not forcing the vote. And I'm so tired of them coming out on Twitter saying, oh, the minimum wage is way too low, way too low. We need to raise it. We need to lift people out of poverty. Then do something about it. You guys have the power. All you want is appeasement. All you want is your Grammy points. And you're not going to do anything about it. You're not going to do anything about it. And you're not going to do anything about it when progressive organizations who are bigger than me can't even force your asses to do it. Hey, you force the minimum wage, you force the vote on the minimum wage, or we're going to stop donating donating to you. We're going to take our entire apparatus and primary your asses. We're going to tell our supporters, who are your supporters, to stop donating to you because you won't raise their wages. We're going to do that. But they don't have that. They don't have that pressure. And that's why when I say we need to pressure our politicians, every establishment bootlicker is like, oh, no, we have to play nice. See, you have to play nice and unite and this and this and that. Why? They're not forcing the vote. Why? Every bridge in Las Vegas, every bridge in California is taken up by people living under it. What is it? 40% of the people in Skid Row? In the project called The Mission that was featured on the Kelly Clarkson show, on the Kelly Clarkson uh, Clarkson show, they work. They just can't afford the housing in L.A. And you can't raise the wage. You can't put it in the bill. And then they come up with excuses like, "Oh, uh, at least this bill helps. Uh, it doesn't help uh, big businesses and corporations like the Republicans did. So uh, you know, it's not as bad." You can't be, at least it's better than the, tr- than the Trump bill because the Trump bill helped the rich. You can't be framing it that way. You can't. I like what Justin Jackson, Jackson said. You got to do it on, on the basis of the issues, on the fact that people need to live. You do it on that. Not on, oh, let's compare it to the Republicans. And by the way, they, they also said, well, it was the Republicans' fault that we had that bill. No, because the House was owned by the Democrats. They had the majority. So they had the majority. You could have done something about it. But they didn't. And then they're going to come up with excuse. Oh, well, huh, the bill was right in front of me right here. And it had things for unemployment and it was going to give people help. And I couldn't vote. No, I had to vote. Yes, they put that bill in front of me. Okay, that's your leverage. Because here's the thing. Trump needed that bill to pass. The Republicans, they need, they, the Republicans needed that bill to pass. Their donors were anxious for it. Uh, Congress needed it to pass so they could go home. Otherwise, they couldn't. Well, they probably could, but there'd be no relief. And they needed it because the stock market wanted it. They needed it, apparently. 
but they but but you know and so that is your leverage to say okay we we want a $15 minimum wage and $2000 recurring checks like the rest of the western industrialized world Canada they're offering you $2000 just a month just like that countries like like Finland and others Denmark I think it is they're subsidizing 75 to 95 percent of your wages some are 80 some are 90 some are 95 I'm gonna do a video on that as well why Democrats won't raise your won't subsidize your wages and it involves Wall Street but so again isn't that incredible they won't do it they won't give you a two thousand dollar recurring check. They won't give you a fifteen dollar minimum wage, and they won't force the vote. They won't force the vote. And Ilhan Omar on CNN, she doesn't look angry like 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 I'm angry. You want to pull people out of poverty? The CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, which are a bunch of nonpartisan people. They came out and said it would pull 27 million people out of poverty. It would lift them all out of poverty. And you can't do one simple thing. I'm tired of these old excuses. I'm so tired of these damn excuses of, oh, it's because we are. Uh, uh, it's right in front of us and they're making us. And it's the Republicans. Use your power. Use your power. And hey. People have already been waiting three months. People are going homeless because you didn't provide relief, Democrats, like you promised on the campaign trail to get Warnock and Ossoff elected. I covered that on this podcast. Those of you who've been watching for a while, you know I have. On this show, I I have. And yet they won't do it. They won't do it. Incredible. Incredible. You know, it, I, I. But anyway, uh, okay. So, so people have been waiting because you said two thousand dollars, and then you said nah, two thousand dollars minus six hundred is fourteen hundred dollars because you already got six hundred, and you should already have that, like Joe Biden does in his shirt pocket. Um, and then I'm gonna, and the, and then we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, and then we're gonna cut the cap, and then we're gonna take out the minimum wage. So, what's another three to five days? What's another three days going to do? If you can get the minimum wage, use your leverage and get people to vote on the minimum wage and hold rallies and get the progressive organizations to get their people, all of us, to pressure these politicians who won't vote for the minimum wage. That's how you use power, but you won't because you're all cowards. Every single one of you. And we're so freaking tired of it. We are all tired of it. This is why I tell you, never vote for a Democrat. Because the Democratic Party doesn't... You you don't change the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party changes you. And even if you don't take corporate money and you, you you end up voting like a corporate Democrat. And I guarantee you, AOC and all these other mother efforts they've got deals on the side that they just won't publicize because they know the progressive movement will, will, will murder them in the primaries. So... There you go. No minimum wage because the squad won't do it. 